Hey, good day folks. This is John Mendoza from C Magazine and Wheel to Wheel. Today we're testing out the Ducati Monster 937 Plus. The Ducati Monster M900, first released in 1993, single-handedly saved Ducati's business amounting to 42% of the brand's total sales from 1993 to 2000. It was a marriage between the Ducati 851, 888 trellis frame, and the Ducati 900SS air-cooled engine which produced a lightweight, sporty naked motorcycle with a very usable engine for the street. Fast forward 30 years and several iterations later, the latest Ducati Monster is a controversial amalgamation of non-traditional monster technologies that have raised eyebrows of Ducati ST the world over. Gone is the trellis frame and air-cooled engines of old. Some would argue that the Monster 937 is no longer a monster. I say that the formula is still true to the original concept. The new chassis, or the lack thereof for that matter, is a subframe bolted to the engine's heads and the swing arm on the crankcases. This is very similar to the Panigale's aluminum monocoque unit using the engine as a stressed member. The engine is a newly developed over-square Testostret adjustment-dromic 4-valve liquid cooled L-twin that delivers the beans where you want it most in the rev range. It delivers 111 horsepower at 9,250 RPM and 69 foot-pounds of torque at 6,500 RPM. A super bike derived chassis made it to a very usable street engine. Sounds familiar, right? Just as the 888 chassis was mated to a 900SS engine, the Monster 937's ideology is, by all intents and purposes, the same as the formula of the original Monster M900. From the original M900 to the 93 there is only a 3 kilogram difference between the two despite the latter's water cooling, electronic rider aids, and emissions compliance appliances. And now it's time to ride. So we're riding down the mountain and I'm chasing after this giant now speed triple on the Monster 937 and even though I'm uh, on the Monster is at about 60 horsepower disadvantage I can still hang on and even pass this bike. That's mainly due to where the power is on the power band on the Monster 937. It's where you need it. This thing just bursts out of corner exits. And as you can see, the Monster flicks from side to side fairly easily. And it's stable on sprays like these. But I can flick it, no problem. And there's another corner. It holds this line very well. And the suspension copes very easily. Uh, especially on big uh, types of tarmac that uh, it's fairly smooth but yeah it holds its line and you can even adjust your line uh, mid-corner both suspensions front and back are non-adjustable well except for the preload on the rear suspension but uh, I feel that the front suspension is set up just right uh, with the rear well we can improve probably just a little bit on the rear if we can uh, change the shaft but uh, uh, as of what, uh, right now, and for what it is, it's pretty good. In typical Ducati fashion, this uh, the brake setup on this thing is fabulous. It's really, really great. Uh, even when compared to other brands with similar uh, equipment, uh, like the Brembo, uh, I think these are Brembo M4.32 calipers. Uh, these uh, Ducati just knows how to set up the brakes really, really well. This bike is just spectacular on roads like these. Even when it gets bumpy, the suspension just goes fairly easily. Very good. The Pirelli uh, Russell 3 tires work very, very well in the Ducati 937 Plus, complementing its handling, braking, and power very, very well. Uh, I just feel that it well, moves around when it's pretty wet, but uh, today is dry and yeah, uh, it's really spectacular. It's really great. Yeehaw! I just love how lightweight this bike feels. It, it's really, really great for mountain roads, twisty mountain roads. Like this. this is all the bike you need for this thing, for this kind of riding. Uh, you don't need much more uh, except when you're on the track. Yeah, it just delivers power so well. I love it. We're so blessed to have uh, mountain roads like these to ride on, especially with a bike like this. With just a perfect amount of power and uh, handling, uh, the uh, Monster 937 Plus is a perfect bike for my lucky. 
I just love how strong the initial bite is on the brakes with a very progressive feel and strong stopping power. And man, what an engine! Yeah! I don't know if you can hear it, but I just love that induction howl from the airbox. And that, folks, concludes our ride for today with the Monster 937 Plus. Special thanks to Access Plus, Mr. Totti Alberto, Mr. DJ Alberto, Mr. Lorenzo, Lorenzo. Alright, thanks for lending me this bike. I love it. start with the electronics uh, Ducati uh, what I like about this uh, TFT dash is that it displays all the details all the settings right on there so you'd know where you're at with the Ducati traction control where the ABS level is the Ducati wheelie control all right and the quick start I think that's what it is and it's easily, very easily available, uh, very easily customizable with the left hand switch gear. So as you can see, I just need to tap on that and you see the display changing. Press on this one. And you can, that's a long press on that button. And then now you can quickly uh, change between modes, sport, touring, and urban mode. And if you'd like, you can even customize those settings right there so it's very easily uh, customizable to your taste it has all the bells and whistles uh, it has traction control ABS all that electronic stuff that you would come to uh, expect from a bike like this one it comes with uh, Pirelli Rosso 3's uh, these, these are really good tires for the street I wouldn't recommend them for the track, although you can use them on track days, but uh, it depends on your pace. So I was feeling them move around a bit uh, up in the mountain a while ago. So riding this bike in typical Manila traffic is a breeze uh, mainly due to it's a uh, fairly, uh, well, it's very, very, very slim seat, slim tank. So even though it's an 800 plus uh, millimeter seat height uh, for a guy with a five foot six, uh, uh, five foot six uh, frame and a 31 inch inseam, it's very easy to uh, touch the floor with your feet. And it's a very very light bike. Uh, the engine doesn't seem to mind getting stuck in traffic. Uh, it doesn't heat up like uh, the more high powered Ducatis. So it's really just a joy uh, riding it in town and the riding position. Uh, well, you can say that it's a bit aggressive for a standard bike, but uh, it's really not uncomfortable. I wouldn't mind riding this bike for two hours straight. So the Ducati Monster 937 Plus is a very practical, very easy bike to ride. Uh, yet, it doesn't take away the fun factor. Uh, it's a very, very fun bike to ride too. Uh, at the same time, it's uh, a, a, a practical, comfortable, and very, very nice bike to live with, I would say. Um, I wouldn't mind owning this. I mean, I'd like, I'd love to own one. Because uh, it's all the bike that you need, really, on the street, on public roads, uh, for your regular commutes, or the weekend blast, or even uh, spirited rides up the mountain. So, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed the Monster 1987 Plus. I think it's worth every penny. And Ducati has a hit uh, with this one, just like the original Monster. This has been John Mendoza from C Magazine and Wheel to Wheel. See you on the next ride.